Welcome to my YouTube channel where you can find videos that will make math fun and easy for you to become winners in numbers, winners in life. In this video, I'm going to present to you how to add and subtract fractions. We will begin by adding and subtracting similar fractions. By the way, what are similar fractions? How do we know that a given set of fractions are similar? We know that similar fractions are fractions having the same denominators. For example, one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, and four-fifths are similar fractions because they have the same denominators. Shall we say we want to add one-fourth and two-fourths? First, I am going to present the illustrations of one-fourth and two-fourths. So when we put together one-fourth and two-fourths, it will give us three-fourths. So based on the illustrations, it shows that when we are adding similar fractions or fractions having the same denominators, we simply add the numerators and then copy the common denominators. This time, we shall have subtraction of similar fractions. Let us say 4 6 minus 1 6. I'm going also to present to you the illustrations of 4, 6, and 1, 6. So when we take away 1, 6 from 4, 6, it will give us 3, 6. So just like in the addition of similar fractions, when we subtract similar fractions, we just simply subtract the numerators and then copy the common denominator. But take note that our difference is T6. It is not yet the final answer because it is not yet in the lowest terms. So how do we reduce the fraction? First, we are going to find the greatest common factor or the GCF of 3 and 6. So the GCF of 3 and 6 is 3. So we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF, which is 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So therefore, our final answer is 1 half. So when we subtract 4, 6 minus 1, 6, it will give us 1 half. What if, if we want to add or subtract fractions in which the denominators are not the same? For example, we want to add one-fourth and one-third. First, I am going to show the illustrations for one-fourth and one-third. Now, looking at the illustrations, we can say that we cannot immediately combine one-fourth and one-third because the sizes of the boxes are not the same. So what are we going to do first? First is for us to find the least common multiple or LCM of 3 and 4. What is the LCM of 3 and 4? How do we solve for the LCM of 3 and 4? First, we have to identify the multiples of 3 and the multiples of 4. And then, we have to identify the first common multiple of 3 and 4 because the first common multiple of 3 and 4 is the LCM of 3 and 4. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Looking at the list, we can see that 12 is the first common multiple of 3 and 4. Hence, 12 is the LCM of 3 and 4. Since we know that the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12, we can now divide each illustration into 12 equal parts. Now, when we divide the illustration showing one-third into 12 equal parts, one-third is now renamed as four-twelfths. 
And when the illustration showing one-fourth is divided into 12 equal parts, one-fourth is now renamed as three-twelfths. We can now write our new equation. One-third, which is renamed as four-twelfths, plus one-fourth, which is renamed as three-twelfths. So four-twelfths plus three-twelfths will give us seven-twelfths. Without the illustrations, I will also show to you the computations in finding the sum of one-fourth and one-third. First, we have also to find the LCM or the least common multiple of 3 and 4. We know that the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So we have to find an equivalent fraction of 1 fourth and an equivalent fraction also of 1 third in which the denominator of these fractions is 12. So if we are going to find an equivalent fraction of one fourth in which the denominator is 12, we have to multiply 4 by 3 to make it 12. So in the same manner, we have also to multiply our numerator 1 by 3. So 1 by times 3 is equal to 3. So therefore, 3 twelfths is the equivalent of one fourth. The same way, we have also to find an equivalent fraction of one-third. So we have to identify a number in which when we are going to multiply that to 3, it will give us 12. So 3 times 4 is 12. So we have also to multiply our numerator 1 by 4. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So 4 12 is the equivalent of one-third. So we can now add the fractions. One-fourth, which is equivalent to three-twelfths, plus one-third, which is equivalent to four-twelfths. So three-twelfths plus four-twelfths will give us seven-twelfths. Finally, I will show to you how to subtract the similar fractions. Let's say we want to subtract one-third minus one-fourth. So I will present to you the illustrations for one-third and one-fourth. Just like in the addition of the similar fractions, we cannot immediately subtract the fractions because the sizes of the boxes are not the same. So we have to make them the same by finding the LCM. So we know that the LCM for 3 and 4 is 12. So when we divide the illustration showing one third into 12 equal parts, the one third is now renamed as 4 twelfths, while the one fourth when we divide it equally in 12 equal parts, the one fourth is now renamed as 3 twelfths. So we can now subtract because our denominators are the same. So 4 minus 3 is 1 and then copy the common denominator 12. So therefore, when we subtract 1 third minus one-fourth is equal to one-twelfth. I will also show to you how to find the difference of one-third minus one-fourth using the algorithm. The same way, before we can subtract, we have to find the LCM of three and four. We know that the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So, we have to identify an equivalent fraction of 1 third and an equivalent fraction of 1 fourth in which 
the denominator of each of these fractions is 12. So let us start with our mean when, which is one third. The denominator of one third is three. So we have to identify a number in which when we multiply it to three will give us 12. And that number is four because three times four is 12. So we have to use also four to multiply to the numerator, which is one. So one times four is equal to four. Therefore, the equivalent fraction of one third is four twelfths. So we will now have the uh, one fourth. The denominator is four. So we have to identify a number in which when we multiply to four will give us also 12 because 12 is our common denominator. Now, three is the number which when multiplied to four will give us 12. So we have also to multiply three, that three to one. So one times three is equal to three. So therefore, the the equivalent fraction of one fourth is three twelfths. So we can now subtract because our denominators are now the same. One third, which is equivalent to four twelfths minus one fourth, which is equivalent to three twelfths. So four minus three is equal to one and then copy the common denominator 12. So therefore, when we subtract, one-third minus one-fourth will give us one-twelfth. Finally, these are the things that you have to remember when we are adding or subtracting fractions. First, if the fractions are similar, we can immediately add or subtract the numerators of the given fractions and then copy the common denominator. Now, if the result is not yet in simplest form, we have to simplify first the fractions by finding the greatest common factor or the GCF of the numerator and the denominator and use that GCF to divide to the numerator and to the denominator. Now, if the fractions are not similar, we have to find the LCM of the denominators of the given fractions and then identify the equivalent fractions of the given fractions using the LCM as the common denominator. So, after that, we can add or subtract the numerators of the given fractions and then copy the common denominator and then simplify the fraction if possible. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video but please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next, see you on my next video.